Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex Edition on the Nintendo Wii, released in 2009 by Activision, but actually developed by Treyarch, which in itself is quite interesting, because obviously um, the original Modern Warfare was released in 2007, well, released by Activision, but developed by Infinity Ward. Um, and obviously in 2007, oh sorry, in 2009 when this came out, obviously Modern Warfare 2 was coming out, which was, was absolutely huge. But I just remember, because I didn't have an Xbox 360 at the time, being absolutely chuffed to bits that we were going to get this. It got so much flack in hate for just attempting it. And it's, funnily enough, my favourite version of the game. Is it perfect? No. Graphically, it's weak compared to the other versions. But it just, I love playing with motion controls. The Wiimote, the Nunchuck, although that said, right, I got no idea what the controls are. I haven't played this in ages, but I just, I just like them. Night, night, drunken boy. Why are you getting pissed on a ship? It's not very professional, is it? But yeah, I just, I just love the way motion controls work, and I think this game was. I bet you. Well, sorry, I hope you had a good dream because you won't get any more. That was very cold of me, but no, I just, I just love this game. I love motion controls, and this is, you know, I've played all the Call of Duties on the Wii and they are my favourite versions on the Wii but this is still my favourite game as limited as it is. Yes the story is very very short and it was based on multiplayer or that was the reason you know you were supposed to prolong your playing of it and yes it did kind of you know blow everyone's mind and create what modern multiplayer was but I you know I'm one of the few people who still enjoy these games for their single player campaign and I love it. It's a great campaign. I'm a recruit. I'm Soap McTavish. Yeah I know. Um, I've just finished my training at Herefordshire, which is obviously the, uh, the the spiritual home of the SES, the greatest special forces in the world, which does beg the question, if I'm on a boat in the middle of the ocean trying to stop terrorists, then isn't that more like, you know, the SBS, you know, the amphibious um, special forces, uh, you know, division of the Royal Marines? Just saying, but what do I know? Oh, hang on. But yeah, the controls are really, really tight. They're a bit slack in my case, because, yay, helicopters equal death, and death equals win when you're on a boat being shot at by people. Never mind, and they're all British, because we like British people, and we don't want them to die. Yeah, never mind, I completely lost my train of thought. Right, so I got bomb is stab. Oh, sorry, just testing my knife. But, you know, people piss and moan. It's, oh, the Wii could never do this. Oh, it does a really shit version. I think it looks really nice. I think it pulls it off very, very well. Now, this is kind of a prequel training mission after the main training mission that sets up that really annoying bit you can't skip, which is for the story, but kind of annoying because you can't skip it. But I think this is absolutely, you know, really, look, look, rotate, hold gun sideways. Yeah. And Bruce Willis and shit. No, I just think it's really, really cool. I really, really like it. You know, short story or not, very atmospheric, graphically for the Wii at least. I hate saying that phrase. Very, very good. Do you want to go down now or do I go down now? Because I know if I lose you, then I get lost on this boat and, spoilers, drown in the drink. It's got a really annoying bit at the end before you get on the helicopter. Nice. It's so satisfying to shoot people first person controls, you know. I'm not a fan of guns and shit. There's nothing wrong with the UR, but there's no denying that holding the Wiimote out right in front of you and scoping around and scanning around in your environment it was like holding a gun, he says, having only a behold, or held, I should say, cap guns. Apart from a real pirate gun once. Right, this is the bit. Shake the, the nunchuck to reload. Um, minus button is flashbang, plus is grenade, I believe. But yeah, I'm staying with you guys, you know. Call me a pussy special forces bloke, but every time I lose you, even though I've played this game loads, first time in ages, I just end up on the... Titanic going down, and I don't even get a shag by Kate Winslet, so that's kind of poor. I don't like Kate Winslet, I don't know where that came from. Alright. Anyone else? It is very atmospheric, you know, the, the, the voice acting is absolutely superb in this game. And isn't price based on a real SAS? 
uh, a, you know, member who sadly, you know, has passed away now. And it's funny, it's got a weird Doctor Who thing going on throughout all the other games, because even though they do this weird, you know, tit for tat thing between Treyarch and Infinity Ward, sadly Treyarch had been involved, you know, absorbed by someone else. Um, you get to see Price. Oh, I see. Come on, that's graphically brilliant. You get to see Price through all the Call of Duty games in World War Two and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. You know, that nice little time thread Doctor Who thing going on, which is not why they've done it, but you know, a familiar character with a strong personality is kind of cool and things like this. Right. I was going to flashbang, but it's not my stag do because that means something else. Never mind. Right. I'll screw it. Grenade. Yeah, go on. Them, not you. All right. All right. Chill. Nice. Oh, you got a sniper gun. Yeah, some of the late levels, even though it's short and the single player campaign is really, you know, people really kill it, it's fun. I'm not going to lie. I like it. Flashbang. Just want to say flashbang. Reload. Nice. You can fire from the hip or you can aim down the barrel, much like the other ones, but it just seems more satisfying, you know, as I said, with a Wiimote. Where are you going? Oh, grenade! Oh, he's throwing a grenade at me! Shit. I don't like that. Oh, you can throw grenades back, by the way. My god, it's been ages since I've played this. Another grenade! I shouldn't stay here. Stay with your people. Stay with your people. Seriously, they're my sat nav right now. They're my tom tom. Because every time I lose them on this level, even though it's the first level, I I just get lost. I can't get off the boat. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go. You're my helper keeper buddy blokey thingy. Wow, was that even English? It is now. I'm staying with you. Who are you? Which one are you? Are you the bloke from Spandau Ballet? Seriously. There's a bloke from Spandau Ballet does one of the voices. Kevin for one of them. I'm sure he does. Oh, sorry. Oh, you just... Government made me do it. Budget cuts. It was cheaper to get rid of you. Oh, you're on my side. I'm sorry. This is what happens when you 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 fire everyone in the army and replace them with territorial people. Part-time soldiers just can't do the same thing. Sorry, not out there in the TA. I'm just saying my thoughts. And also, I want to say again. I've said it before, and I'm sure I'll get flack for saying it again, but. Regardless of all the dirty, you know, oil wars that politicians do and shit, whether you agree with soldiers and they certainly don't, you know, have to accept on the dotted line, I respect my own forces. I'm trying to, it won't let me. Oh, bollocks. Grenade. No. Oh, shit nuggets. Rookie mistake right there. Oh, bollocks. I'm out of guns. Am I? No, I'm not. Ah, up his jump on the D-pad. I need to remember that right now. How do I take you? That? I can't ever remember how to take it. Come on. Alright. I'm trying to, it won't let well there we go. Thank you. That was a little bit clunky, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little No wait for me! Don't leave me A hey, run 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 Status I'm overly British and I'm gonna exaggerate my accent for the purpose of a video game. Grrr. Oh come on, more video games should have British accents. You know you love it. Right, so now we go Titanic and shit. Got to go now! Oh my god, this is amazing. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Thank you, because I'm the newbie, and that's what happens when you're a newbie. You're shit. You clearly nicked that from aliens. Marines, we are leaving. Ooh. Nice. It is. You know what? You know, people slag and piss and moan and take the shit out of it, and that's a new one. Take the shit out of it, but it is—it's atmospheric. I don't care what anyone says. Um, I, I think my army boots are broken because I can't really keep up with you. Come on, come on, come on! Oh no, no, no! Don't run away because I get—I get lost. 
seriously, if you played this bit, well, at least me, not being the smartest tool in the shed, you'll understand what I'm saying. Cool, get your, get your Wiimote around quickly. Oh, there's a corner bit here where I get, I get confused. No, it's that way. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's around there. All right. No, it's not. It's the... Oh, this is where my motion controls fuck up. In the immortal words of any great athlete and or soldier, fucking leg it. There we go. I see you, peekaboo. Ooh. Ooh. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's my bloody... Where's Airwolf? There it is. All right, run in, run in, run in. Jump. Ooh, someone's... Please, 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 little help. Thank you. Anyway, Call of Duty, why am I out breath? Modern Warfare Reflex Edition on the Wii. Kind of like a teaser training level, but I really do recommend you you get this game if you have it on the Wii. And just a boring random fact that when I play the other Call of Duty games on my Wii U, I still play them with the motion controls from the original Wii. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.